So import PDF files, everybody has imported it, PDF files as backgrounds and things like that um, to uh, coordinate projects, collaborate. And then usually you will remove that PDF once that uh, information is inputted into AutoCAD as vector information, which was manually done in the past. So here we have kind of an OCR a recognition, uh, optical recognition, basically taking those PDF elements and inserting them into um, AutoCAD. I'm going to pop open a recent CAD file here. And we're going to go into model space. And now there's a few things here that you need to realize. Now, it sounds too good to be true, taking a PDF and inserting all those elements and having them come across and translate as perfect AutoCAD elements and keeping the fidelity. So what I'm going to show you here are two examples. Um, the biggest example here is the elements actually come in very nice and clean as far as line work. Uh, the one thing that you should prepare for, though, is to make sure that your dimension styles, um, I don't know what your standards are, but uh, hopefully you can switch over to true type fonts because SHX, um, basically it translate that into, translates that SHX uh, font into line work. So it's really not usable fonts. You can't edit it. Uh, and I'll show you kind of how that is. And so... What I'm going to do right now is there's two ways to bring in uh, a PDF and turn it into vector elements. So here I'm going to go under the Insert tab, and most of you are familiar with this. Insert, and then they put in an import, uh, PDF import here under the panel. And right up here there, PDF import. And Enter. It's asking for a file. And so I have this. Uh, dimension plan PDF. This is exact copy. All I did was export this out to a PDF, this actual file. And so what you're going to see here is a brand new dialog box. Now I'm going to go over this uh, just a few options here because these I feel like are the most crucial options. Um, when you're bringing in this into vector, AutoCAD needs to know, hey, what is going to be translated? How is it going to be translated? So right off the bat, I'm going, okay, we want this to be vector geometry. And that's, of course, the native of what AutoCAD uh, creates. And then we got solid fills. Yes, I do. We do want that. True type text. And you have the option to take that off. Uh, we're going to leave that on. And then raster images, if you have any embedded in there, um, they come in as PNGs. So they actually come in too. And then down here, we have an auxiliary uh, supplementary options down here. Import as a block. I always like to do that in case it covers over some existing line work. And then join line and arc segments. Um, I usually leave that on. And then convert solid fills to hatches. I'm going to turn that off, uh, untoggle that, and then apply line weight properties. This one actually goes back to, do you want, it's asking, AutoCAD's asking you the question, do you want to take the line types from your existing PDF? Or do you want to actually, you know, which will extrapolate as much as possible, or do you want to actually take the line weights um, and, and have CAD actually uh, take care of that? So either way, you're going to, it's going to bring it in as vector information. And I'm just going to actually, let me go back on that and do that again because I want to scale this. So PDF import. I'm going to go back to file, the PDF file here. And I'll try to go at a, a pace here where you guys can, um, remember this most of this information here. So under the scale, I have the opportunity to put in, um, I know this is half inch, so I'm going to use the inverse 24 there, or dimension scale, and I think that's about it. And so we can see the outline of our file. And I'm going to click in space here. And so we don't have any, you know, state grid planes or anything like that going on. So I'm just placing relative coordinates here, and so or absolute coordinates. And what you see here is actually, um, let's see here. The block reference. So what you need to do, it came in as a block, 
and I know that a lot of people don't like to do this, we're going to use explode over here. And what you can see is it's bringing in, you can kind of see some of the things, how it's translating. The arcs, if you click on that, you can see over in your properties that we have, it's turning that right into polylines. Um, some of the others, it's actually turning it into solids. So if, you know, if we were to look at this, and I know you think of solids as 3D, but if we were to look at this at a front view here, on our view cube, you can see that we're, we're dealing with a z-axis of zero pretty much, so no need to worry about flattening or anything like that. So um, what we have here, and I'll just go and kind of take a look at some of this line work and select on it, and you can see it's coming over as native elements, which is really nice, very accurate, and this text, I'm going to click on main office, this is editable, so I can double click on there and go in and edit this right from the PDF. So really nice feature. The one thing I wanted to show you is dim styles. Now this is something that I made sure that this was a Roman SHX, okay? And so look what happens. It's actually turning this thing into, um, you know, basic line work and that's not good. So you have the option to go into your dimension variables, uh, change your, uh, before you actually export and change this back to maybe a true type font and you'll have better luck. A lot of the time though when you're inserting the PDFs it's nice to have those dimensions there but eventually those are going to be gone anyway. So a real, real big time saver for that. The other things I wanted to mention on here Everyone asks, hey, um, scan images. Um, scan images, you're only going to get, you're going to get the quality from the original image. So when you scan an image, you're, it's going to come in, but, um, you know, you're, you're going to see some uh, inaccuracies, some extrapolation and things like that. So your best bet is to take, if you can get it, take an original CAD file, um, that has been exported, or take a PDF that's been originally exported from a CAD file. You'll have much better luck with that. The other thing I can show you, the, of course AutoCAD has several ways of doing things, and uh, do our time constraints, I'm not going to do another one, but you can access it through the application button menu, and then publish, um, and, oops, sorry here, export, and you can export to PDF there. And, of course, you can type it in on the command line, too, uh, under the new system variable. Okay. And the OCR capability is very, very powerful there. And, again, if you have existing PDFs that are attached, um, and I will actually, uh, let's see here. Well, due to our time constraints, if you do have existing PDFs, you can click on those and do a one button export or import into your CAD file. So really powerful. And if you have a batch of PDFs, you can select from individual PDFs to actually import into your CAD file. One more thing here on importing PDFs under your options. You do have a brand new uh, let's see here, PDF import location. So this is the location in your system files here that the uh, imports will be extracted from. So you can actually put that, um, that link in there and have that go to it every single time in your profile.